the Bible's book of Genesis. In chapter 6, verse 9, begins the story of Noah and the flood, in which God sends a great deluge to rid the earth of sinners and start anew. Different versions of this same story exist in nearly every ancient tradition around the world. Going back 5,000 years, we have sacred texts that tell us there was an antediluvian civilization. There was a great flood and that there were survivors. The Mesopotamians speak of this in the Epic of Gilgamesh. The Egyptians speak of this in the Edfu creation text. Plato learned from the Egyptians that there was once a civilization called Atlantis that existed 9,000 years before his time. Plato wrote about the lost continent of Atlantis in two of his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, around 360 BC. Historians and researchers have long debated whether this pre-flood civilization was purely mythological or actually existed. Arguments have been made suggesting remnants of Plato's destroyed civilization could be found at the South Pole. I think what happened in Antarctica was that approximately 13,000 years ago, that flourishing civilization that originally came from the space and establishing its presence in Antarctica was flash frozen. We actually have ancient evidence of this in the form of Plato's dialogues, where he talks about the last days of Atlantis. That basically is informing us that Atlantis was an extraterrestrial colony that had established itself on Earth, and that after a pole shift, Atlantis was moved under the ice where the South Pole currently is. As more and more pieces of the puzzle start to come together, might we soon be able to solve the mystery of the Antarctic continent? And if so, just what might we discover? Modern whistleblowers still argue that there is more about Antarctica that is being covered up than we think. There are entire bases down there, entire civilizations, that the world's governments are working with aliens. They know about the buried artifacts, they know about the ancient civilizations down there, and they know about the extraterrestrial civilizations that continue to operate in Antarctica at the very moment. It's totally possible that Antarctica contains an extraterrestrial home base on Earth. It's a totally isolated part of the planet. It's completely uninhabited, or, or was until recently. It's ideal 